It's not the spirit of fear. We're just talking about whenever you tap into something that you're not familiar with. Am I preaching in the right house? Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma whenever yes, you walk in an area that you're not familiar with, everybody has a tendency to be reluctant. Yeah. You can start a new job. You're like, mm -hmm. yes. yeah. you can go in a new town, a new, a new state. I, I, I can put it this way. When I moved to this state, I was like, mm, I don't know. Mm. And it wasn't the idea that it was anything wrong with the state. I was so familiar with what I had. My yeah. Yeah. And whenever you step on new territory, you're like, oh, I don't know how much the Lord, but see, your purpose pushed you. I, I know it did for me. Yeah. Your purpose will push you into air. You're like, Lord, I don't really know how to work in that. I don't know how to do that. But your purpose said, go ahead. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Did you feel that push? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do that, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. All of a sudden, you, you're doing what you couldn't do. You're, you're socializing. You're, you're mingling. You're talking. You're doing business deals. You're getting connections with people that you, you never thought you'd be associated with. It doesn't matter. That, it doesn't matter what shade they are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because they're connected to your purpose. See, I'm preaching to somebody. Wow. I've had some looks. Yes, yes, yes. 
of looks you would not believe. And I'm pretty sure some of you have had the look of, you want to do what? You want to, I, I'm saying that don't, don't get distracted by what other individuals show you in their faces. Right, right. Because their faces, that's it. The Lord God said, do not be afraid of their faces. And I'm going to go on record, do not be afraid of their faces. Come on, man. Jesus. Because if God's called you to do it, there's a purpose and a reason. That, that, that face is there on purpose to distract you. Yeah. Do you understand that? And as I'm reminded of, as Nehemiah, who built the wall, and I know that's not in our text, but you must understand when Nehemiah was rebuilding the wall in the book of Nehemiah, there was three people that were coming up against him. And they kept, you know what? He just ignored them. He said, I'm, a, I'm doing a great work. I ain't stopping. You're going to have to get that mentality that, you know what? My purpose is much yes. more important yes. than the foolishness you showing me. I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm saying I'm trying to put some put some weight upon some of you because you need to be just that bold. You don't have to be disrespectful, but I'm not I'm not giving heed to your face. In your oh, face. But see, back in the day, at least, when I was growing up, they didn't have to, how many of you remember, mom and dad didn't have to tell you that, they just give you that look. Yeah. <laughs> and they give you that look like, yeah. don't even. <laughs> they didn't say that, but they give you that look. It was worse than a pinch, because you knew. I would rather get the pinch, because a pinch knew, at least I got the pain out. But that look meant that, like, Lord, have yeah. 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 Not going to be good when we get to the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't put that look in. That look is like, what? Okay, I mean, like, you don't, you don't even want to come and you just stop breathing. You. Because you know when you get out of the presence of who they're talking to. You know, you never pray. I'm saying that. So you can't tell me that a look won't distract you. Well, as if that can happen with a look as far as discipline, what do you think the enemy is trying to do to you? Wow. Come You're on. just saying that, you know, I'm the head and not the tail. Is that you really? Yeah. Give you that scowling look like, you know, mm. like the audacity. You know, like you're going to say you're going to be great. In the name of G.I.L. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, come on now. But I'm saying that same look, that same look that you, that, that can be intimidating. And I'm here to tell you, the Lord God said he's canceling that spirit of intimidation. Yes. Because that look should not put any fear in you. Because when you're going to start saying, I purpose. This is what God has called for me to do. you got to know who you are and know what God put you to do. Amen. It may not be anything anybody's doing right now, but you got to know that you know that you know what I was trying to without that God has purposed you for that. I was born for this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. 
Come on. I didn't know the Lord, but I knew the club. True, yeah. true. And I didn't know it like some say some of y'all just average. Yeah, I, you know I'm saying average when y'all so y'all just you know a Saturday Sunday. No, all of a sudden it's Sunday. Mm. There was no break. A break from work. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Since when I, thought, you know, I get a break from work, but Sunday to Sunday. Well, <laughs> I do. Sunday to Sunday. I got a week to back up. Yeah. Until from Sunday to Sunday. Oh, you didn't know Thursday to Sunday, though. Good Sunday to Sunday. Mm. And that sister kept putting Bible by. I said, like, what's she doing? Oh, messing up my Keep putting stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I know I'm not the only one. Stop acting like you were born with a head on. You know what I'm talking about. That sister kept putting scripture on my desk. Yes. You just haven't identified. 
identify with your purpose. People may not see. Some of you, the gift, God said gifts and calls are without repentance. God said, I've given many of you spiritual gifts. You just haven't been operating in them just yet. But your purpose is about to manifest. Come on, You must understand that. Your purpose is about to manifest. And so all, the, all those tendencies that you were doing before, you're like, that's why I did that all the whole time. And the Lord God said, because it was connected to your purpose. Yes. That's why some of us are, are the best caregivers. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Somebody it hurts up, you're like, are oh, they okay with me? Yes, yes, yes. All of that, yes. that's part of your purpose. That's part of who God created you to be. Others are like, okay, I hope they feel better. Yes. But you, you all out, did you check on them? Yes. Then the how what is it for you? You want to know detail. Do you realize that's part of your calling? That, you know, do you realize? And if you're calling, even if it's a calling to prayer or a calling to heal. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody needs yeah, to yeah. You're like, wait a minute, yeah, yeah. it went over some of your head because, you know, whenever somebody tells you that something went on, you're like, my God, how sick? You're, you're believe, automatically, you're like, mm, I believe God can do that. Yes. You don't even realize your purpose. You may have that gift of feelings yes, that's Lord. flowing through you. And then, Lord God, so I'm saying that because in many, many areas, your purpose is already right there. I'm going to close, but I want you to understand that God is saying that there's a power of purpose tonight. Yes. Because you have to recognize that there is a power of purpose operating in you tonight. Yes. Jeremiah walked away and he was trying to give excuses and saying that, Lord God, I don't think, I, I don't think that's me. I don't think that's what, who I am. And the Lord God is saying, don't, don't discredit what I've given unto you. Because if I created you, I put something in you. If I formed you, I knew you. So just understand that God has you sitting here tonight. Underneath this ministry to hear this word, it's not because of me, because God says you have purpose. Yes. There is a reason, and you will come to know it in the name of yes. Jesus. I believe that God will have you open up your eyes and pull the scales from your eyes so that you will come to know what God has called for you to do. Because this thing is bigger than you. Come on, it's bigger than you in the name of Jesus. God has said your purpose and your promises are sitting up there saying, Come on, brothers, come on, sisters. If you can figure out what your purpose is, your promises about to be poured out on you. Yes. Yes. My God. Yes. Can you yes. see that thing being emptied out? You talk about invitation. You haven't gotten the invitations yet. You're about to see. Come on. My God. Because whenever you come into your purpose, the Lord got to say that I'm going to sit you before kings and queens. Oh, I'm going to put you before men and women. I'm going to put you before kings and queens. You do not even understand that there are people that are in your midst right now. The Lord God said, I have a divine setup for you that I'm putting you connected with individuals that you have no idea. I'm sending you far off in order to bring some back in. In the name of Chief, you don't even realize your purpose. Why do you think you own that job? Why do you think you in that family? Why do you think that God is doing what he's doing with you right now? Because you have purpose. Hallelujah. My God. My God, people of God, you must understand the Lord God is speaking to you. He's speaking to you. And he's letting you know as he spoke to the prophet Jeremiah, I already know what I'm going to do with you. I know the plan. The point is, is that do you realize who you are in Christ? Come on. Do you realize that God is speaking to you? The anointing is flowing all up in this house. The Lord God is saying that after tonight, somebody is coming into their purpose. In the name of Jesus. You're coming into your purpose. You're no longer second chair. Come on. I, I, I know who I am in God. I know what God's doing to me and through me. I understand I do have purpose. I am not by accident. I, I keep getting that because somebody needs to hear that you are not an accident. I don't care how many times you may have heard it. I don't care how many times you may have said it. You are not an accident. Yes. You are more planned than the universe. Yes. God knew you would be here. He knew you would be in this city. He knew you would be sitting in this. Look how big. God said, I knew you would be here tonight. Yes. Now you're like, wait a minute. Do you think God is surprised that you're here? He's not because said these individuals need to know that they have purpose. He needs to understand that I put them here more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a great opportunity. If you're a mom or a dad, that's a great opportunity. God says it's much more than that. Mm -hmm. what, what, you may be like, well, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, you're much more than that. I, I, I'm just, you know, just somebody just trying to make it. Now, you're more than just a child, somebody trying to make it. God has a purpose for you. God has a purpose for you. And my prayer is that you will come to find it. And as the Lord God gave this word, and I'm going to read Exodus 9, 16. He said, but indeed, for this purpose, I have now raised you up 
that I may show my power in you. Hey. That my name may be declared in all the earth. Amen. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Somebody told you, somebody may need to write that in the morning because the Lord God is saying, indeed, this purpose, he raised you up. Whatever you're about to, God's about to lift some of you up out of your situation. Yes, and you think, he said, I raised you up just for, not, not for show. He said, I raised you up to, to show my power yes. in the earth realm. Yes. I, I'm the Lord, and I'm saying it because I'm receiving all of this. Because the Lord God is saying that we have purpose right about now in this season. That he's raising you up on purpose to take care of something. To declare that God is God. That he is the king of kings. He is the Lord of all. And no devil in hell is going to stop me. No devil in hell is going to stop you. No more of that excuses. No more resistance from the enemy. The Lord God is saying, push through. Jesus, my Jesus, my God. Say your neighbor, our purpose. I purpose. Say your neighbor, our purpose. I have purpose. Oh yeah, you must understand that you are the royal priesthood. And tonight, as we're going to open up this altar, the Lord God is saying, if you believe that you have purpose tonight, if you believe that as you're sitting in here tonight, the Lord God is saying, stand on your feet. If you believe that God has given you a reason, a purpose to live, a purpose, a purpose will keep you living. A purpose will make you fight for what you believe in. Come on now. A purpose, come on. If you are in this house and you're saying, Lord God, I have purpose. I, I don't know about what my neighbor's thinking, but I have a purpose. And I will come to Lord. If that's you, on your feet. On your feet in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Father God, as I'm praying now, I'm going to ask you to go a little bit further with head bowed and eyes closed. And if, if you are able to stand, let's see if you're bold enough to lift up your hand. All over the house, if you're saying, Lord God, I have purpose, there's a prayer for you tonight. Come on, get that hand up. Get that hand up. If you're watching, build an altar. Build an altar. If that's you. Father God, as I'm praying right now with every individual at the sound of my voice, that with hand extended up, that they're saying that they have purpose. Father God, tonight that you're saying, after tonight, individuals in this house, at the sound of my voice, will begin to know their purpose. In the name of Jesus, they will come into the knowledge as to why you created them and what they are designed for. Oh my God, in the name of yes, Jesus, Lord. thank you, Lord God. Hands are up. Some of them are just saying, Lord, I didn't know what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go. You're about to get some 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 direction tonight. Come on, get that hand up. If that's you, that hand should be extended up. Somebody's about to get some direction tonight. In the name of Jesus, so Father God, I'm praying for them now. I'm asking Holy Spirit as you continue to move upon them. Touch right now, every man. Every woman, every boy, every girl, that they have their hand extended up. That purpose is already being defined in them. Purpose is being defined in them even now, Father. I thank you, Lord God, they come to know it. And they shall walk in it in the name of Jesus. And we say amen. 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 amen.